Hello, Sycamore Junior High, and happy Wednesday, April 6, 2022, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Khadija. Yes, happy day. Hello. I'm Nikolai, and let's all please unite and honor our free America by standing and placing our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Okay, today's air test taking tip is how to tackle test anxiety. Use steady breathing and relax your muscles. Before the test, take a few moments to close your eyes and... Hey, try this with me. <laughs> take slow, steady breaths to calm your nerves. Stay relaxed and confident. Breathing evenly and slowly can help your body relax and stay focused. It is easy to tense up in situations of stress. Relax your face and release the tension, then move from head to toe. Give yourself a nice stretch prior to testing getting started. Oh. You're not supposed to fall asleep. No, that, that, okay. <laughs> oh, whoops, that is very helpful. It really works. Well, you're not supposed to fall asleep, silly. Anyways, just get more oxygen to your brain and relax and calm your nerves. The more oxygen in your blood flow helps your brain function better. Okay, let's practice concentrating on our National Day topic. Today is National Go For Broke Day. National Go For Broke Day on April 6 encourages us to give it our all. No matter our goal, there's a reason to preserve despite all the odds. The phrase go for broke has roots in Hawaiian pigeon meaning wager everything. Go for broke day truly signifies giving it you all regardless of the obstacles ahead. How to observe National Go For Broke Day? Number one, take a tip and go for broke. Number two, you can also watch the 1951 movie Go For Broke, which depicts the story of the 442nd RTC for a big screen. Number three, use hashtag National Go For Broke Day to post on social media. Today's daily survey. So yesterday's survey asked if you prefer to watch sports in person or on TV. And it looks like 59% of you prefer to watch sports in person and only 41% of you prefer to watch sports on TV. Personally, I like to watch sports in person. Don't forget to check out today's daily survey posted on the Google Classroom. The results for the survey will be shared tomorrow. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Annalise B, Owen C, Joanna J, Colin M, Isaac M, and Cameron Yes, we hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements on this rainy, rainy, ugh. Wednesday. All right, just a couple reminders. We the people, remember your big competition is coming up this Friday. All right, make sure you get your paperwork turned into Miss Carter in the Media Center. You will be meeting tomorrow morning to do some practicing and everything, but you guys should have met with your people through this week. All right, 7 o'clock a.m. is the time you're reporting on Friday. Bring money for breakfast and some games to share while you guys have a little downtime. And again, dress to impress and finally last call for yearbook april 15th is your final deadline to get your sycamore junior high yearbook all right there's your link to get that stuff check that out get that yearbook if you've got questions see mrs spielman remember april 15th is the last day to guarantee you'll get a sycamore junior high yearbook that is it for me i am out see you guys tomorrow peace now mr wavercombe with an important announcement Good morning, students. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I uh, just want to come and give you some reminders about testing next week. So this is the time of the year where you get an opportunity to show everybody else what you've learned so far this year and gain some valuable experience for high school and, of course, exams, SAT, ACT, any college entrance exams as you move forward. So you will be taking English language arts air assessments next Monday and Tuesday, the 11th and 12th, math the following week, Tuesday, Wednesday, 19th and 20th, and 8th graders will take science on the 27th, uh, which is Wednesday of the following week. So on those days, we're going to run an adjusted bell schedule, and in preparation of testing, I need to remind you guys of a few things. First off, try to get the best night's sleep that you can. Uh, key to success is having a great night's sleep the day before testing. 
get a good breakfast, or if you can't get one before the bus or car ride, remember, get one here at school, and that can be done in the cafeteria or by the gym. Please try to arrive every day on time uh, so you can get to your testing location quickly and uh, before testing begins. Next, please arrive every day with your Chromebook and that Chromebook should be charged. So when you go home at night, plug it in, charge it, make sure it's ready to go. If you would, please leave your electronic devices in your locker or at home that day. You can't have a cell phone or a smartwatch on your body during testing. We'll ask you to take those off. Uh, you can't have that. Is it a testing security issue? Bring a pair of earbuds, not AirPods, earbuds with a cord. Those have to be corded so we can plug into your computer so you'll have the option to listen to questions and text read aloud. They must have a cord. You cannot use Apple AirPods with Bluetooth uh, for testing security. Eighth graders will be able to use TI-30X2 calculators on the math test. And again, do your best. Take your time, you'll have plenty of time to complete the test and we want you to do your best. So again, testing starts on Monday. Come with those Chromebooks ready to go, charge and make sure you bring them as we have a limited number of loaners and we should be good to go. I know you'll do your best. I believe in you, believe in yourselves. Have a good one, thanks. Over to Lily with the Pets of the Week. Hello and welcome to the Pet of the Week segment. This week's pets are Rosalie, submitted by Eric W. Annie and Raisin, submitted by Brianna S. And Prince, submitted by Yasmin F. Okay, this week we won't have a pet guest because of technical difficulties. Anyway, this week we're featuring an adorable six-year-old English bulldog named Maggie. Maggie is good with kids, other dogs, and cats. Maggie's also house-trained and crate-trained. If you're interested in adopting Maggie, check out Pet Finder or contact Queen City Bulldog Rescue. Let us know if you adopt any of our featured pets. Thanks for watching and have a great day. What's for lunch today? For lunch, we'll have a walking taco bar. We'll also serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Oh, that ear test tip is good, not just for taking the ear test. Yeah, I bet you can use it in any situation that you need to calm down. I might just use that tip tonight while you're trying to fall asleep. Me too. Now for the joke of the day. Why are skeletons so calm? I don't know. Why? Because nothing gets under their skin. <laughs> Go, Go Aves! Aves.